What up, family? Now, we know the public place shoes is at all-time high. And what I mean by that, fam, is that elementaries, churches, airports, different places to where people be, our own people is Americans what we're supposed to be. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? And these be Americans that's right over here, not foreign people no more. These Americans found that's coming in and knocking people off. Whether you're white, black, I'm seeing all type of different Chinese, all type of different people going on one over here in the USA. Now, <laughs> the funny thing is, a lot of these people got mental health problems. And the funny thing is, fam, it's, it's nobody there to intervene with these mental health problems. A lot of these people already have history of doing something. Especially people, you know, in our community, fam. And when it comes to us going to jail and prison and getting the help that we need, because anybody that would shoot a gun got a mental health problem. If you would shoot a gun for nothing, you got a mental health problem. I used to shoot for nothing. I recognize now, man, I had, you had a real mental health problem, brother. You hurting somebody else for nothing. Think about that, man. Now, this situation went down in Dallas. It's at an airport. The woman go in, shoot up the airport. She gets shot in the process. And in the process of her doing all this, she tell the police she Chris Brown's right, wife. And she done shot the people. That, they, done shot, they done shot her and she done shot up the airport, but she said she Chris Brown right. This is my point right here, though. I keep teaching on idolizing these artists that we see that people don't you know this woman literally made it her business to tell them folks that she the wife of Chris Brown and lying not even the wife of Chris Brown so you can imagine fam the magnitude of and I'm and I'm referring this back to all the violence that's around I imagine she don't only listen to Chris Brown listen to hip hop some more stuff you feel what I'm saying but at the end of the day, the magnitude of people idolizing these artists was rap artists, R&B artists, and they losing themselves in the process of that thing. That's got to be something to her if you being a star or whatever, Chris Brown, and you heard somebody done said that she your wife after she done shot up the airport and got shot herself and said she, she, she your wife. You feel, that's the magnitude of influence that hip-hop got on the community and that a lot of people, not only, and, and I'm referring to hip-hop off Chris Brown's situation because we know Chris, Chris Brown of blood too, right? Let's keep it real. Chris Brown from Fruit Town. Yeah, we know what's going on with Chris Brown. Chris Brown ain't, ain't an angel. We know what's happened with the girl Rihanna to beat up that, like a man. You feel what I'm saying? We know everything. So at the end of the day, fam, don't idolize nobody but the most high. I don't care how good they can sing, rap, dance, or whatever. I don't care whatever, whatever it is, fam. Because at the end of the day, that idolization of other people will have you in the same situation like this girl right here is. Because you get to a point to where you lose who you, you, you forget who you is as a person. A lot of women live through these different women that they see getting these body parts and different stuff done. A lot of people idolize that. And if you soak in that, you will forget the beauty within yourself that the God done gave you that's original so it'll stop your blessing. So it's the same thing when I talk about this hip hop and people idolizing these rappers and want to have these chains and all these different things because one thing I'm learning about life, well, none of that make you happy. It got to come from within. You feel me? You got to work yourself from within. But I will keep y'all updated on situations like this, fam. But make sure you hit that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm out.